Later that day, Julia Gillard made her first speech as leader. It was full of praise for Rudd and his achievements. Thank you very much. And can I say, Australians one and all, it's with the greatest humility, resolve and enthusiasm that I sought the endorsement of my colleagues to be the Labor leader and to be the Prime Minister of this country. And I particularly give credit to Kevin Rudd for leading the nation in such difficult times and keeping people in work. And today, but one thing rang hollow. Australian. For all her protestations that she'd been dragged she into the leadership the battle at the last moment, the truth appears to be different. Four Corners has confirmed that senior staff in Julia Gillard's parliamentary office had started writing the leadership speech at least two weeks earlier. Are you aware that two weeks before Rudd was removed from office that a speech was being prepared in your office that you would subsequently deliver when you were Prime Minister? Look, I am not surprised that whether it's people in my office or people more broadly uh, in the government or the Labor Party were casting in their mind where uh, circumstances might get to. Of course, political people look at political circumstances and they think about where they might go to. With respect, you haven't answered the question. And the question was, did you know that people in your office two weeks before Kevin Rudd was removed as Prime Minister were preparing a speech that you Look, I've given you, delivered. I've given you the best answer I can, which is I'm not surprised that there were people, uh, you know, around government uh, who were, you know, in their but, own but mind... But did you know? Uh, well, I did not ask for a speech to be prepared. But were you aware that one was being prepared? Look, I've just given the best answer I can to your question. My question was simply whether or not... I heard your you question knew. and I've answered it. You haven't answered the question. Well, I've given you the uh, answer I'm going to give you.